If you register on the Agnetus website, you will receive a link which allows you to download the runtime of the OpenEMM software. Therefore, you can go to your own server and download this specific link and start the installation of the OpenEMM software. I'll do it now. You will receive a tar.gz file which you extract by using tar.xfz. We have extracted it into the user home directory of OpenEMM user by dash C tilde slash. And I will show you what happened. You will receive some files. Those include the OMT tool, which can be started. Then it will lead you to the rest of the installation process. On the first start of the OMT tool, you get information about the database not available, which is no surprise, and that some other helping third-party software is also missing like Java. Therefore, we install Java for the first time. You can use some pre-installed Java of your operating system, or you may choose to install some Java runtime environment, which Agnetus provides by entering a blank and enter. So, we installed Java. The same is about the Catalina Home, which is the Tomcat software, or the third-party software, delivered by Apache. We install it, or you may use your own, supplied by your operating system, or some other installation. We take it from our Agnetas software. Don't be confused about the point of Tomcat Native. This is some legacy point of the software, 23.10. It will be removed in the next version, as we will see. This was part of allowing Tomcat to be able to use TLS encryption, which is not part of the Java runtime any longer. So, we installed Java and Tomcat. Now, we will leave this point. And because the database has no configuration, we now configure the database for the first time for the open EMM system. Therefore, we select the database management system, the vendor as you like, which is a MariaDB. And here in the old version, 23.10, it's also allowed to use MySQL, which will be removed in the very near future in the version 24.04, because it's not supported by OpenEMM anymore. Therefore, we use MariaDB and enter some specific credentials. Here, in our case, it's some password of OpenEMM for test reasons. You may use some more sophisticated passwords. OMT has the philosophy of displaying non-stored information in three colors. Therefore, we have to persist this information by using the code word. Save. Then, we are asked to create this database and the database. User. Yes, we want to. And therefore, we need the root user password of the database, which is also OpenEMM in our case and therefore we are done. What comes next is we go back to the main menu of the OMT tool and use the point number five and get the open EMM system software from the Agnita's website. We are asked if we are sure to do so. Yes, we are. And as you can see, already 24.04 is available but I would like to install 23.10 to show you the basic installation process. Afterwards, we will upgrade to 24.04. Therefore, we skip the upgrade to 24.04 right now and install the 23.10 version. And as you can see, the download link also led us to a legacy runtime version, which we will update now to the next current version, which always needs the OMT tool to be restarted. This will be done automatically. Still, the database structure does not exist because we will do it right now. So once again, 
we install the software. Here, you also receive some release notes about the next version, which also included in the OpenEMM install and admin guide of 24.04. But still, we skip this upgrade installation. We want to do the 23.10, Java was already installed, Tomcat also. And here comes the real OpenEMM code. It includes the software for the OpenEMM front end. We installed it. And as you can see, it will also install and refresh the software for NPM packages. This is needed for rendering of previews and thumbnails. Also, statistics is part of this package as well as web services. And also, the mail part, the backend of the OpenEMM, is also included. This will take a second, because the backend system also checks for already running backend of OpenEMM. And then stop and restart right after the installation. I tell you this. For not being confused, it will also do this stop and start after we start the whole system once again after the installation. So, the installation is done. For the very first time we installed the OpenEMM, we also have to configure the domain of your system, which is to be done by the menu point 2 configuration, and there we enter the URL to your system as described. And because we are using HTTPS, which is possible in OpenEMM for secure communications, we have the point on the main menu number 4 for security to configure and install HTTPS certificates. Yes, we want to. And this is pre-configured on this application. You must use your own certificates and keys and enter those files of the local system. If you would like to use some different ports for internal communications, you may configure them also. We don't need them, we just need the standards. And that's it. The installation of OpenEMM is done. Therefore, we try to restart it for the very first time. Yes, we are sure. As you can see, there was no open EMM running before. Now it's also trying to stop the backend and restart it. Please keep in mind, if you are skipping some major versions delivered by Agnitas, you also have to install the missing versions. So, if you already had 23.04 and you would like to upgrade to 24.04, you have to install 23.10 and restart it once to let all the migration stuff happen in your database and file systems. And therefore, you have to install and run once the intermediate versions and cannot skip major versions completely. But, as you can see, it's an easy job. So, we are waiting for the start of the front end. which will be done in some seconds. As you can see, it's done, and therefore, we finally started the browser. As you can see, OpenEMM is up and running. For the first login, you use the user EMM master, which is always available. But for the password, you need to create one in your OMT tool once, which is also done in security. Point number one, create a new initial password. Yes, you want to create, 
If you create an initial password, any old password of the EMM master user is revoked. So only this password is working from here on out. But this password is just a temporary one. So we go to the user interface and enter this password, and then we are prompted to change it immediately. I do it right now. So, the password is not stored in any terminal session or anywhere else, only in your mind, because you have to change it in the first login. As you can see, OpenEMM is running. Now, we have a look in the system status for checks whether everything is installed properly. And as you can see, it's all fine. The disk status is not part of this list because it comes with 24.04. We will see this after the upgrade. Here's the current version, and it's running. That's fine. So now we come to the point of upgrading the OpenEMM system, which is also done by the OMT tool. Therefore, we already had point number five, install an update package. We do it once again. Yes, we are sure. And now we come to the point. A new release version is available, and we will do an upgrade. As you can see, the runtime part is coming at first, and we have to restart the OMT, which is part of this runtime, which is run automatically. And as you can see, the runtime has a new version. Now we go once again to install from Agnetus website. Yes, we are sure. Runtime was already installed. Java, this is no change. Tomcat has no change. And here comes the open EMM code, 24.04. This upgrade also executes NPM updates. Maybe for some updates that are coming up in the meantime, and then also updates your database structure, it can be seen here, and changes all the software of OpenEMM that is needed. But keep in mind in the release notes, there might be some change of Python installation or Java for future releases, and you have to follow them. And also, you can see this in the OpenEMM install and admin guide. Just a second for the restart of the backend system. And for Comes Up Tool is the help manual, which is newly part of 24.04 for all the installations. And so restart the system after the installation. Once again, the back end is stopping. I'm sure we are towards the front end to restart. As you can see, this is not fake. This is a real installation in real time, and this is taking just minutes for upgrade and update. Now we are done, and I go back to the browser, reload the page, because the system was restarted, we logged out. Therefore, we had to log in with EMM Master. And the password will be stored in the user interface. So, 
we are in the new version of the OpenEMM. As you can see, 24.04, just to have another look in the system status. As you can see now of the disk space left information available, the new version, and the upgrade of OpenEMM is done. Just a last hint of information. When configuring the OpenEMM system, be aware of the basic configuration and mail addresses, which we recommend entering to configure for information about any problem that is occurring in the system or for buttons or anything else that is available in OpenEMM, we recommend configuring this email addresses. That's it for now. Have fun with OpenEMM 24.04.